What's going on Rocket Powered Sound Designers? I'm Shane from Rocket Powered Sound and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to make screechy FM leads in Serum and this is what they sound like. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? I really like that sound. It reminds me of Skrillex's older tracks. I don't know about you, but anyways, I've been working on a serum pack and I am really excited and I wanna show you guys that serum pack. So right now I'm just gonna play a little piece of the demo. All right, so yeah, that's 100% made in Serum. And if you guys wanna be on the early access list for that Serum pack, it, the link's in the description if you wanna go check out the rest of the details because guys, this thing's pretty cool and I'm really excited to share it with you. Um, so you guys are definitely gonna to wanna to jump on that list uh, because I'm gonna be notifying you guys way before the rest of the people uh, about the pack because then you get access to a bunch of bonuses and stuff that you can't get anywhere else on the internet That's really cool, right? By the way another side note: turn on the notification bell on the channel I'm not just saying that you actually want to do it because we're gonna start live streaming within the next two weeks Hopefully sometime this week. I'm gonna let you guys know um, in the next video when we're gonna be doing that though um, So make sure you guys turn on the notification bell that way as soon as we start live streaming Boom, oh my gosh, Rocket Powered Sounds live streaming. Let me join. And then I may even do some track reviews and you guys are want, gonna be want, what? You guys are gonna be wanting to be on that. Um, you know, get a little review of your track and you know, some live sound design recreation. So, you know, you guys want your feedback. I love you guys. I wanna be interacting one-on-one -on -one with you. Anyways, let's get straight into today's video. This sound is super, super cool, and we do have some other things going on that I haven't previously discussed in a tutorial. That's why I'm really excited to make this video. Now, starting off, we're gonna be running um, P uh, Pulse Width Modulated Waveform as the host for the FM, and that's gonna be Pulse Width Modulated Juno. And just running through um, the wave tilt position, this is what it sounds like. All right, nothing too special, very, very basic sound here, um, but that's kind of what we want. We want a little bit of movement though, and this is why it's perfect. We're gonna dump on LFO number one onto the sound here, and we're gonna create a little shape just like this. This is what I had going on in the original sound. Now, the reasoning for that is going to take place actually right now. We drop the level all the way down to zero and we're gonna create a new LFO and that's LFO2. Put the put on trigger and that way it's just gonna repeat itself. And we're gonna jump this rate up to one over eight. So, that's what we get so far, not really anything cool. Now, the thing that's really gonna be making this bass actually cool, surprise, surprise, frequency modulation, you guessed it. Uh, we need to jump on that FM gang from oscillator B on oscillator A. So oscillator B is gonna be the signal, turn on oscillator B if you haven't already, and drop oscillator B's level all the way down to zero. That way we have no sound coming out of oscillator B. Now. Wow, we really are starting to create some interesting sound creations. <laughs> um, now, we're gonna be turning on FM from oscillator B, as I just said, and we're gonna be modulating this up from about, we'll say from 43% to around 50, 51. Doesn't really make much of a difference, but once we start to turn up the octave, Classic FM sound right there, and that is what we were going for. But we have the wrong waveform on oscillator B, so we're gonna go to the basic shapes and just select a sawtooth waveform. Now, the nice thing about running FM with sawtooth waveforms as the host, or sorry, the signal, I'm sorry, it creates that nice screechy but harmonic FM sound that you guys can hear, as opposed to if we were to say a sign. 
not quite as harmonic. So guys, getting into the filter, we're gonna go ahead and go into our flanges section. I know, it's not like we go here pretty often. You know, this is a pretty uh, familiar space for us rocket powered sound designers. We're gonna go into our flanger HL6 positive. Boom, right away that is a very metallic-y sound. And we're gonna immediately wanna turn on our keyboard tracking. What keyboard tracking does is this little button, as soon as we highlight it to be blue, which is just clicking it, um, it adjusts the cutoff to move exactly with whatever note that we're pressing. That way, we don't get weird inharmonic spaces between each note. Perfect. So we're gonna leave the cutoff at right here, which is just about halfway. And we're actually gonna be turning on LFO one here. We just want it to be modulating ever so slightly here, which is gonna be seven. And yes, it is going up seven and then down negative seven because we are working with that kind of synthesis here, uh, modulation. Now, we are actually gonna be creating a another LFO. I know, another LFO. But hear me out guys, it's for a reason, trust me. So we're gonna put this on trigger LFO three. We're gonna be putting uh, the rate of about one fourth. Now in between each of the in individual um, volume dips, which it goes one eighth. So this is going to be modulating the cutoff, which is very similar to the pitch. It, the cutoff is directly linked to the pitch um, of the flanger HL6 positive. So we're gonna create a really interesting um, effect here when we start to modulate that. As you guys can hear, sounds great. Uh, resonance, that's going to be around 41%. We don't want it too intense, but not so weak to the point where uh, we don't necessarily hear the effect of it. So right up there at around the 42, 41, 40%, 40 that works perfect. Drive, that's going up 25%, and the HL widen, or the uh, filter variation, that just goes all the way up. That way we have the full range of this filter. Anyways, let's jump right into the effects. Enough with that rambling. We're gonna turn on our multi-band compressor. Now, multi-band very straightforward we're just going to turn on a compressor turn on that multi-band button and boom right away we have a multi-band on this sound turn up that gain turn on the master a little bit sounds beautiful so far am i right or am i right now guys we're also going to finish this off with just a filter or no not a filter i'm sorry hyper dimension reverb and we're going to call it a day just turn on the hyper dimension size down to about like one or three percent, two percent. Very low amount. That way we don't get the extra clip like that because that sounds like complete garbage. Um, so we're going to leave it at that. Now let's take a listen to the sound. Now we can also modulate the semitones going up. So let's play. That's what I did in the second half of the demo. And then also, if you guys catch, there is a little reverb ramp that goes up. Um, if you guys watch closely, the reverb starts at zero and in between the spot where there is no note, the, the mix simply turns all the way up to 100% and then drops all the way down to 0%. I'm gonna show you what that looks like right now. Oops, I mean, right now. That's all it is, it's modulating the reverb. So anyways, guys, I really, really hope that you learn something because if you learn something, that means I'm doing my job. So if you ended up learning something, which yeah, if I'm doing my job right, then drop a like on this video and subscribe because I'm gonna be dropping a couple Rocket Powered Sound shirts very soon. These are extremely exclusive. So many comments I've been getting lately. People are like, yo, where can I buy this? Not for sale giveaways baby all day so make sure you guys stay subscribed stay tuned and you could be the lucky winner of a rocket powered sound shirt extremely exclusive all right anyways <laughs> this hat's getting a little uncomfortable 
because I did just get my hair cut, so I have like an itchy head, but without further ado, my name is Shane Gregoire from Rocket Powered Sound, and I will catch you Rocket Powered Sound Designers in the next video.